Hey guys, so I'm back with a haul video. I have been out of town visiting family, so I got a chance to do some shopping um, before um, I left and as well as over the weekend while I was visiting. And um, this is from Target. Uh, I just wanted to share with you all the small Target haul. I actually bought two of these selfie sticks. Um, this is what I use to hold my phone and it's actually holding my phone now. Um, but the reason I purchased them is because this selfie stick has a little hole in the bottom where it can screw into my holder that kind of looks like one of the swing arm, arm lamps, but there's no lamp on it. I purchased, um, this arm off of eBay, purchased two of them for like, I think like $12 each. And one is in my studio and I have one here in this other room that I film in. And this little hole here allows me to put the selfie stick on the end of it and hold my phone. And I can film from either side of my desk because it has a long reach. So I purchased two of these because I've been looking for another one that had the hole. And when I saw them in the Target dollar spot for $5, I was like, I can do that $5 each. And I purchased an extra one in case one breaks or if I want to set up another one somewhere else. I purchased some of the unicorn erasers. I just had to. They were too cute. And um, I love the little colors in here. Check it out. The little bag. Oh, it's in another plastic bag, which hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Um, that. And then I purchased some of the little heart eraser um, for a bracelet. And I was going to use these for like a, um, a journal for the um, page marker uh, because these are beads, uh, but they're erasers. So, um, I just like the little hearts, so that's why I got them. And that's wall from Target. Um, and then I got a Stampin' Up! order, and I placed a second order after seeing some of the beautiful projects that um, people have been making with the new Stampin' Up! stuff. The catalog comes out September 1st, so that would be Friday. Um, I got some of the 12 by 12 cardstock in the Cherry Cobbler. Um, I only have this in an 8.5 by 11, so... I wanted to get some of the larger size for some other projects for Christmas. And then I purchased this paper, um, which is the Mary Music Specialty Designer Series paper. And you can see it says Jingle Bells. And I want to make some ornaments from this because it's black and white. It's, it's black and white and um, has music sheets. I want to open it so I can show it to you, but of course sorry for the reach and the bad lighting the poor lighting let's see if I can get it oh that's not really good at all um, I'm doing this at night guys so and I may have to do two separate videos because I did a lot of online hauling and I did a lot of Tuesday morning hauling when I was visiting my mother she has um, some really good Tuesday mornings that don't get all cleaned out. The first one I went to, they told me it got cleaned out. The second one I went to, I know they didn't get cleaned out. I could tell by what was left. Um, so, ooh, okay, so there's some, uh, they're all music papers, but they have, some of them have patterns. They're two-sided. So there's black with white, and it's got the notes, and you can see on the back side, and the, I don't want to pull them out because I won't ever get them back in here. And then there's a different, see, a different sheet of music. And then the back side looks like this, it's like folded sheets of music. So that's pretty cool. And then this one on the front that I showed you also has a different pattern. So that's really cool. Double-sided. So that'll be good for making some ornaments, I think. I'm hoping. So, um... The rest I got from Stampin' Up was this one painted harvest. I wasn't going to buy this set. This is a um, sunflower, and it's photopolymer, and it's a layering set. So you get multiple layers. There's the center, and you get some leaves, and there's layering leaves, two kinds. And there's an acorn in here, and then there's some sentiments. And I ordered the bundle, so I got the punch that goes along with it okay um, and unfortunately I must have been very sleepy when I placed this order 
um, because I ordered a second one, which I will be, guess what, giving away. Um, I will probably do a giveaway, a secret giveaway on a video. And if you happen to see it and enter it, you can win this new Painted Harvest stamp set. And it is a sunflower. And so I have my own, but you will get the stamp set only because, of course, I put it in my cart twice. Once as a bundle and once as the, the stamp. So anyway, I figured that'd be a good way to uh, kind of get back into things. Okay, so bundles, bundles. Um, Carols of Christmas, I went ahead and picked this one up. I wasn't going to buy it. And then I was like, oh, I really do like the sentiments. And this one is a um, rubber one. So you get two really large sentiments and some ornaments. And then there's a deer and some leaves and stuff. And that one has a, um, I thought it came with a die. I don't remember. I thought it did. And I may not have ordered it, but I don't remember, to be honest. And usually I prepare this by removing the plastic. Um, I'll have to figure out what goes with what now. Because I don't remember. Sorry, guys. I think this is the one that goes with that. If I'm not mistaken. I'm just checking my stamps. Okay. Um, I think this might go with that stamp set. And this one is Card Front Builder Thinlets. Don't quote me. I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet, so I think that's the bundle. And then I got this Every Good Wish um, stamp set. I don't know why I went ahead and got this, but I did. It just drew me in, this sort of watercolor painting thing. Because you can use this over and over again, right? Christmas. Um, Sunburst Thinlets Dyes. Let's see what this is. See, I don't even remember. Oh, ah, this one was in the clearance, I believe. So I picked it up because it was in clearance and I didn't have a die like this yet. I have a, um embossing folder, but I don't have a die and I think I even have a stamp like this. Isn't that cool? So that was in the clearance rack, not part of a bundle. And then the last thing I picked up from Stampin' Up! on this order was the um, Trim Your Stocking Thinlets dies. I think there is a coordinating stamp for some reason. And excuse my voice as I am um, getting over a cold. And I'm going to have to plug in my phone too. So um, hopefully it doesn't die on me. So this is the um, Trim Your Stockings um, die. Here it is. It makes it look like, you know, there's an opening there. And um, I think you can actually just, I think it cuts here so you can slip something inside. And then there's a tag right here and you get a lot of different little shapes so you can decorate. So here's the toe and there's a heel um, and some tags and stuff. So yeah, this really cool, really cool. And I didn't pick it up the first time. I don't know what made me, um, something was telling me I go back and order that before you regret it. <laughs> So that's what I picked up this time from Stampin' Up. Um, my next order is from HSN, and I got a couple of things. I got this one bundle, um, which you guys, if you've watched my channel at all and my hauls, you'll know that I'm kind of obsessed with like a Scandinavian sort of Christmas theme. So HSN had this bundle, and the reason I ordered the bundle was because I wanted a lot of the things in it but to purchase individually it would cost me more because you cannot get this on the crafters companion site in the US you have to go in the UK site to get them individually which I did do I went and got some that they're not selling here on HSN or I couldn't find them anywhere else so this is a border die a border embossing folder from and these are all from um, Sarah Davies so this is 8 inches by 1.7 inches. So, you know, I love this sort of Scandinavian print. I don't know what it is. Must be the tilde getting at me again. I don't know. It came with this ribbon pack, which I don't think I'll use, so I may do that as part of the giveaway. Um, this is one of the dies I was not interested in ordering, but it was part of the bundle. Um, so I may 
throw that in the pot too. We'll see. And I think I actually have this one. This is a five by seven embossing folder. I'm going to check and see if this is exactly the same as the one that I had that's even larger than this. Um, but this was part of the bundle. And then it had these three other dies, which I'm going to keep, um, I believe. This is a bird. And they all have that same sort of look to them, right? I love this heart. This could be used for um, Valentine's too. And then this Christmas tree. So, um, you know, obviously these are three plus this one strip that I really wanted. And I think I actually have this one. So still a good deal. Um, I will look in my stash to see if I have that other embossing folder. So we'll see how that giveaway goes. Um, and when it comes up, because I'm going to be doing some things. So we'll see. Um, the other thing from HSN that I got is the um, Anna Griffin. So she had a craft day. I purchased this and only this from that day. This is her gift card cutting dies that are shaped like a purse. So if you look at this picture, which is the only example they give you, um, you can see that this makes one of those little snap purses. There's two styles. And um, excuse me, I'm going to shake this a little bit. Okay. So there's two styles. There is um, sort of this little handbag purse style with the handle. And then there's the other style. I just showed you the picture of it. So this fits a standard gift card. Um, and I wish I had one that I could show you nearby, but I don't. I haven't even cut one out yet because it's still in the packaging. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So you could see here's the little pocket that would hold the gift card in it. And it's got you know, a, a weird shape to it. Um, and this is also, oh, it's, it's dimensional. So you can cut this, see how there's got, it's got a gusset in it. So that's pretty cool. So that's what I got from HSN as well. And then I got an order from Hallmark scrapbooking and from Hallmark scrapbooking, I purchased a few things. I purchased the new lawn fawn release. And one other die, which is this one right here. This is one of the new Penny Black dies. And you can, this is the actual size of the three layers, or four layers you get. And again, as if you guys have watched my videos and my hauls, you know that I'm kind of obsessed with anything that's like stitching and um, kind of like this whole thing with the um, Scandinavian print. This kind of is like a sewing thing. And here's the die. It, they're hooked together, but you can cut them apart. And um, I'm going to stop right here and I'll be right back.